continue collecting, and remember, stay casual. Welcome back, casual collectors. I'm Steel Wolf. And Spider Kid. And today we're bringing you a review of the Marvel Legends X Men 97 Wolverine. So he is currently sold out on online stores on Target and Walmart and Amazon. But he's still available on Big Bad for $25.99. And if you're lucky, you might be able to find him at your local stores. All right, so the box he sells, we can see on the front a nice illustration of Wolverine right there. And the rest of the cast right there for X Men 97 and the Marvel Studios logo. And it's a nice, cool looking retro box. And for the back, we can see the rest of the figures right there and a better look of Wolverine. With all that said, let's claw our way through this figure. I hope you're into <sighs> recycling. Let's stop all the yapping and get to it. All right, and here we have Wolverine out of the package and looking pretty damn sick. God, take a look at this guy. He looks incredible. The claws are a little different than what we're used to, but still looking pretty sick. And definitely has that X-Men classic cartoon look. So very, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some closer details on Wolverine. So before we get a closer look at some of the details on Wolverine, let's take a look at all the accessories that he comes with. And as you can see here, we have them all laid out for you. And we went ahead and removed the hands and the extra head that was already attached to Wolverine. So let's go ahead and start with the top left there and take a closer look at this head sculpt. So right away, yeah, that looks pretty damn cool. Very, very nice paint apps there. Very clean, very detailed. We can even see a little bit of stubble on him, but we also got a lot of defects right here on the chin, though, as you can see, a lot of scuff marks. But still, not bad, not bad at all. And I swear, I, ever since I saw that meme about the whole thing about Wolverine's mask, that it's basically two Batmans kissing, I can never not see that ever again. <laughs> all right, and here on the top of the head, there's nothing much to look at. Very nice yellow. Here we got the back of the head, looking pretty sweet. Again, very nice paint applications, very good. Here we have the eyes, looking pretty nice too. Nice white there. All right, moving on to the next head sculpt. We have the unmasked head here. And yeah, he looks menacing, look at that. Yeah, that looks cool, that nice scowl. Definitely a nice Wolverine face right there, yeah. Cool looking eyebrows, nice wrinkle on the face. Here we have the hair, sculpted very nicely. Back of the hair, sculpted nicely as well. Yeah, very nice. Cool looking mutton chops, very nice. All right, and let's take a look at the mask here. That's kind of like a hoodie when he has it off. As you can see there, it looks pretty cool. Nice paint applications. Not much to look at, but yeah, definitely looks good. Let's take a look at the hands here, the fisted hands that we get. Very nice silver metallic paint there on the knuckles. Love that, very reminiscent of the show. Like that a lot. Nice sculpt in the knuckles there. There we have his fist, there we have his fingers. Very nice, looks very good. All right, and let's take a look at the last set of accessories here, which are the clawed hands. And yeah, these look great. Like that silver there on the claws, looks good. And as far as I can tell, these guys cannot be removed. Um, they seem to be in there pretty well. They're not gonna come off. The only downside about this though is that you can bend these or break them. Unlike the other claws that we've gotten with Wolverine before, they are kind of pegged in, but these are not. So be very careful with bending or breaking these. But other than that, they look great, as you can see there. And that's gonna do it for all the accessories that come with Wolverine. All right, here we have Wolverine with his masked head sculpt and his clawed hands. And yeah, that looks great, look at that. Very cool. All right, let's see what he looks like with his unmasked head, his hoodie, and his fisted hands. All right, and here's what Wolverine looks like with his unmasked head sculpt and his hoodie, as well as his fisted hands. And yeah, that looks pretty sick, look at that. I love the way that that silver pops out on his fist there. That looks very cool. And here we have the hoodie in the back, looking very cool as well. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details on Wolverine himself. All right, so for details on Wolverine, here we have his unmasked head sculpt, and we took a look at that already. But here is a closer look at it on the body itself, and yeah, that looks great. Let's take a look down further on the chest area. Some very clean looking paint applications here with this black, and it's a nice shiny black, love that. We got some chest muscles sculpted in there. We're then moving further down on the 
torso here. We have some more of that black paint right there for those lines, and that looks great. A lot more sculpting on the ab area there. Taking a further look down on the belt, nice looking X logo there on the belt with the red over here as well for the belt. And very clean, simple, but clean. We got the shorts there, nice and blue there. Moving down to the thighs, we got some musculature on the thighs. There we have his knees. Down to the boots. The boots look very clean. Look at these paint apps. It's more of a like a matte color down here, but it looks great. Yeah, I'm digging it. Very clean paint apps too. Look at that. Oh, set right there, but yeah. And it looks like we got some tread there too. On the actual feet there, it looks like we got the tread there. Let's take a look. And only treads on the outline of the, of the foot, but we also get peg holes. Very nice. And let's take a look at the back of the feet as we make our way back up to the figure. Very nice back here. This looks good. There's the back of the legs. A little bit more of musculature there. There's the Wolverine butt. Here's the lines from the back of the suit looking great with more musculature on the back. Looking very nice. Yeah, looking very good. Here we have his shoulder pads here. And these look great too. I mean, it's more of a matte color as you can see, flat. But that looks great. Here are the arms. We have sculpted hair, but it's not painted on there. So it kind of just looks a little weird. It kind of looks like Deadpool's face a little bit. Almost like these are burn marks, just because we're missing that black from the hair. But uh, it's there. Here we have the gloves. And that looks pretty good too. Yeah, looks pretty good. Not much detail, but it's there. And obviously there's the hands. Here's the other side. That looks good as well. There's the back of the arms, very beefy arms, looking good, musculature, and there you go. And that's going to do it for the details on Wolverine. All right, so let's take a look at some articulation on Wolverine. So right away, let's start with the head, and he can look up that much, and this hood thing does not get in the way, by the way. And he can look down about that much. And let's see, does he have a power driver motion? Yes, he does. Power driver motion. Look at that. All right. And he, does he have a head tilt? Very slightly. I mean, I don't even know if you can consider that a head tilt. Very slightly, as you can see there. But he can rotate the head, a complete 360, as you can see. And moving down to the arms, the arms will rotate completely around, as you can see there. And this shoulder pad does move, so you can see here. So it will get out of the way. If it's getting hindered, it can move slightly. So. All right, and his arms can move up to about that much. It can't go any farther than that. It just gets hindered right here. It gets pinched, as you can see there. But he does have bicep swivels, you can see right here. And he does also have double jointed elbows, which go in to about that much. He does have a swivel on the wrist, as you can see here. And he does have a hinge that hinges upwards and downwards, as you can see. So that's downwards, and he does swivel upwards. He also has butterfly joints, as you can see, which go into about, they go in about that much. And he has them obviously on the other side and they go into about that much. So this almost looks like as if he's putting his gloves on, as you can see there. So not bad at all with the range of motion on those butterfly joints. And they will go back about that much. So again, pretty good. They function pretty well. Other side as well. So pretty good butterfly joints. Now moving down to the waist area, he will ab crunch forward about that much. And he will ab crunch back about that much. He can rotate on the waist here, a complete 360 as you can see. He does not tilt though on that way. So moving further down to the legs here, he can do the splits about that much, which is really good. And he can kick out about that much and he will kick back not so much. And he does have double jointed knees that bend into about that much. He also has a thigh cut, as you can see there. Moving down to the leg area, he does have a boot cut, as you can see, that does swivel. And he has also ankle pivot. Now the feet will kick up about that much, which is not much at all, but they will kick down about that much. And that's gonna do it for articulation on Wolverine. All right, and Wolverine measures out to be just a little bit underneath the six inch mark. All right, and for some size comparisons, we have Wolverine next to Optimus Prime from the Transformers Red Line. And then we also have 
the He-Man Masters of the Universe, the Faker, on the right. And for another comparison with different toy lines, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku, and also the DC Multiverse Death Metal Batman. And for another comparison, here he is next to the G.I. Joe Classified Croc Master, and also the Super Saiyan Trunks from Dragon Stars. Alright, and for our last comparison, here he is standing next to Wolverine from the Bone Breaker Wave with his heated claws. And then on the right there, we have the Mesco Wolverine. Alright, final thoughts. Uh, yeah, cool figure. He looks great. Definitely brings out that vibe that he's from the show, which is what it's meant to be. But I think they nailed it. I think they nailed the look. They nailed everything about it. So definitely very cool i mean even the claws are so reminiscent of the show so very cool love the paint apps no complaints there uh there was some scuffing on the face but i'm pretty sure that's just a factory defect you know uh nothing big there uh it was kind of disappointing though that we didn't get the detailed arm hair i mean the sculpt is there it's just missing the paint so it kind of looks odd but other than that i think that the articulation is on point double elbows double knees Great ab crunch. The head sculpt can look up and down very well. Great butterfly joints. So very good on all those things. Um, accessory wise, I don't know. You know, you guys know me already. Uh, I feel that we could have gotten more accessories, but what we did get was good. Um, definitely like the little hoodie for the mask and the additional hands. Great stuff. So, so yeah, very good. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have any negative things to say about it. Uh. 24 bucks is what it's going for right now if you can find it cheaper i know that uh target for a while had a sale 30 percent off which was like about 17 and change uh that the figures would come out to but uh they kind of flew off the shelf so if you can find them at a deal even better i do agree this is a pretty good figure it does look exactly like the comic book wolverine with some added stuff and i think the figure looks good articulation is good it is i'm not a fan of that we need it venom back. Uh, uh, we are venom the figure is good. Just the color on the blue, I don't like it. It's it's a little bit too like like bright for my for my like. I like the more darker type of blue, like the old Wolverine came with, which I believe was part of the Apocalypse wave. As of not though, I do like the the uh, the addition of the hoodie. As of not though, pinless is really good. The only complaint I really have about it is just the arm hair should have been painted, and that's it. All right, it's that time again, folks, for that rating. And as always, it's there on the left. And I'm going to have to go ahead and give this guy a rating of... Alright, so my rating is going to be... Alright, and that's going to do it for our review on the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wolverine. I'm Still Wolf. And Spider Kid. Continue collecting, and remember... Stay casual. Let's go, Bob. Put on cannon. <laughs> Tornado claw. Ah! Rookie.